Hi loves and welcome to this Paris vlog. I'm so sorry I didn't vlog on the train. I was just so stressed because France changed the rules last minute and we didn't know if we could come or not and we were really stressed the entire run up. So until I get on the train I was just an anxious mess and then once we got on the train I like finally relaxed. So we're all checked in now. We've got a teeny tiny little balcony. Um, we're just about to... We're just about to go and head out and have a little look around. We managed to get a last minute reservation for dinner tonight in Lolo's. We called as soon as we got to the hotel and asked and they were like, yes, we've got a last minute uh, cancellation tonight at nine. And we were like, yes, book it in. So we didn't really book anything. Even though we both knew we were coming, none of us booked anything because I think we were just couldn't accept that we were coming until we were actually here because of obviously everything that's going on in the minute, at the minute. So we're finally here and I'm excited to take you guys round and I hope you enjoy. And if you do, let me know in the comments super dark in the hotel my scarf doesn't really go with my outfit but it's colder than i expected so i have this jacket on from all saints my dior boots and just like an all black outfit more chill today is basically the outfit i traveled in and we're just gonna go on and get some lunch because we're both starving i forgot to vlog while we ate i can only apologize for this because this is a real disappointment for you guys um, but I'll, I'll pop a picture in now of what I actually did eat. It was really, really good. Um, this is what it's like. Super cute. I'll tag the location um, on the screen. How good was it? Amazing. I'm going to get better at vlogging. I never vlog the places. <laughs> Neil, I'm just, like camera shy. We've been here for so long <laughs> that the lights have gone down. Now we're like having a candlelit conversation. <laughs> Oh, it's so cute though. So we'll definitely come back here. Look how pretty this is. <laughs> how large. We're going to Dio. <laughs> so that was actually the um, luxury jewelry deal. So we shall not be buying anything in there because Lord knows I can't afford that. So um, we're just walking to the other one now <laughs> and we're gonna have a little look in there. Like I want to look at the fashion jewellery and the bags. Neela wants to look at the jewellery but not the luxury jewellery. You stole my heart, what is it that you do? My life was great till you added colours. About the others, you said my world of Messi, what was I saying, Messi? We got the um, spaghetti pasta, truffle, some fries, Messi, and we're gonna share it all. We may get dessert as well. Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing. <laughs> The lighting in this hotel is not the one. I didn't really know how to be. Um, I mean, is this the only night we've got? A spotlight? Is it? Oh my god, these pajamas. I've not worn these. Since. I've lost. I don't even know where mine are. I couldn't find them. Hold on. Let me see if I can get a different light going on you, because I can't bear to look at myself in the viewfinder with these spots on. That's him. We done it. We got there in the end. <laughs> Just oh, look how greasy my face is because I've um, not. I forgot to bring my powder, my Laura Mercier setting powder so my face is just super greasy but we just got back to the hotel from dinner how good was dinner was dinner unreal. was real so good we were just laughing saying like <laughs> let's just fall over <laughs> we were just laughing saying like if this is how it is in paris like book us the ticket to be our you yeah, <laughs> like we need to move you it is so nice like everyone was so lovely dinner was unbelievable like if you go to paris you have to go to lolo um, I'll link in the description. It's unbelievable. The service was amazing. They were so lovely. The food was unbelievable. 
I mean, the first night in Paris and we've gone to an Italian restaurant, but <laughs> couldn't have it any other way because it was absolutely amazing. You know when you don't plan nothing, obviously before we came, we didn't really book that many things in and we didn't plan as much and I was panicking because I'm like a planner. I was saying to Neil, we're not going to get anywhere because we haven't planned it properly and you know, I was stressed and I was thinking, oh, it's not going to be that great, we haven't planned anything. Because in London, if you don't plan, you will not get in, like you can't just get in. We called up Lolo as soon as we got to the hotel to try and get a reservation. They were like, yeah, come tonight at nine. Like, off the chance that they had a booking. And we went there and it was so, so nice. So, um, yeah, definitely would recommend that. That's the first night done and, like, an absolute success of the day. I didn't vlog that much. Purely because I just forgot. Like, I feel like, well, obviously, the stress of, like, coming on the train and that just stressed me out a little bit. And I was just trying to take everything in. It's my first time in Paris. I've never been here before. So I was, like in all like walking around today and i just kept forget didn't pick up the camera but from tomorrow i'm gonna be vlogging like we're gonna be back we're gonna be good and um, we're gonna shoot a little bit in the morning i really want to get some content due because it's just so pretty so i think we're gonna try and shoot in the morning i'm trying to teach an elam to take the angles get the angles right <laughs> And then um, we're probably going to go for some nice lunch, which I'll vlog, and then again just like dinner and perhaps go for a drink somewhere. So it's Friday night tomorrow, so we should probably go somewhere maybe before dinner we can go for a drink, or we'll sort, um, we'll sort it out tomorrow plan. If it's anything like today, it's going to be a success. Like I'm touching wood at this point, I'm like, I don't want to jinx us, because it's been really, really lovely so far. So I'm going to bed now, I'm going to take up my makeup. I put a different makeup on today, I use like all different products. So I might do an updated uh, makeup tutorial because I actually really liked it. It's, I mean, it's a couple of hours in now and I forgot my powder, but it was it's really, really good. Like, it just felt like it was more brighter on my face. I use a primer and I use a different concealer. So I might do an updated video on makeup soon. But um, for now, I'm off to bed and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Florence are in the wild. <laughs> oh, okay, we've, we've arrived at the... Is it low? Low? Lower? Low? It's very pretty. <laughs> I'm so mismatching. I'm trying to shoot content. But it's very cold. Like anyway, we've just put our coats back on now. Um we've had a little look around. Uh we've had a coffee. We shot one picture. Yeah, I'm gonna change. In the Louvre. The Louvre. The Louvre. The Louvre. There's the bathroom, which is very nice. We're doing the next up. My cord doesn't go in any of them. It's giving me anxiety. We have a time scale, so we need to move. We are now walking around the garden. Hello. I've got bare legs. Because I've changed. So cute. We are just on the way to lunch now. We just did a little photo session in the thing, but it didn't actually take us that long. It literally took us like I don't know how long, but yeah, we were in and out. We just did it. The sun came out perfect timing. So we ended up walking because the Uber was taking too long. So we've just walked 20 minutes. We're yet to eat and this is the restaurant. So hopefully it's gonna be good. Came by recommendation, so fingers crossed. Okay, so in the summer you get to sit out here in the courtyard. And I think that's like probably the best time to come because that's when I saw the pictures. So we are just waiting for the English menu, but this is Corpo's. Super cute in here. So I've got a Clarins hand sanitizer, which I love. And this is the place. I appreciate this more than you'll ever know. Because I was like, is they gonna have ketchup? And they've got these little teeny tiny things over. And they've Heinz as well, my favorite. Like, this is cute, just a little tray. I almost wanna take it on. And it's like our mushrooms, and this is egg. Um, they didn't really have that much veggie stuff, so we've got to go with what we got. Nina has got chicken, and I also got some french fries as well, so I don't think this is going to be enough for some bread.
we started to rain and the guy just dropped us off in the middle of the road basically so we're just trying to <laughs> we're just trying to see the Eiffel Tower you know that's what the gal wants to do really <laughs> this is my favorite picture yet yeah, of France So we just couldn't find a place to get a hot chocolate so we just came to the base by our hotel it's just the shopping center because we really fancied a hot chocolate and we thought oh George you still have hot chocolate what is it like Neelam <laughs> it doesn't even taste like chocolate it's like milk it's warm milk Neelam went back and asked and they changed it they gave us cow's milk instead of oat now it looks a little bit more chocolatey and it's actually all right. We just managed to get a picture of you when it was all sparkling and there's people everywhere walking to watch it and it was a nightmare. I am dressed so ridiculously. <laughs> I've got new balance trainers on because I know I wasn't going to get the whole outfit in. <laughs> what was it like? We got you in the taxi two seconds before it started sparkling. You know, I was like, get the jacket off. <laughs> get it off. <laughs> People probably think I'm absolutely bonkers, but I was like, hopefully Let's we go. Hopefully go. we have a shot. Like I pray, I think we did. We are definitely two different vibes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to get it back in the room. It is a Saturday and I'm gonna vlog all day today. We've got a nice lunch booked We just have to get some pastries to start the day and we're gonna go shopping We're gonna do like all the luxury shops. I'm super excited. I'm definitely gonna buy something today So I'm gonna take you guys along with me as I know you like to see and uh, yeah, Super exciting and the Sun is out. So we're very very happy today. The Sun is out Our hotel is super close to everything. It's right down there. So we walk into the uh, coffee shop. Neilam was like, I know the way. <laughs> Anyone in Paris can ask me for directions now. I've been here so long that I know exactly where to go. So I listened to it, obviously, because I was vlogging and stuff. This mask is extra large for some reason. <laughs> and um, then I looked, like, after 10 minutes of walking, she's walked us away from the place. She's walked us 10 minutes further than we already were so now we've just jumped in a cab because we're gonna go and get i mean um my friend told me to go to this place for croissants and she was like if you get there later than um a certain time then they won't have any left so we're trying to get there before that time basically okay here we go we just got i don't know anyone from france i can put first out. croissants neelam uh, we've sat here i will tag the location and let you know how they are they look good and we've got a soy a hot chocolate because they didn't have oat milk so just gotta take what you can, you know? It was delicious. We dipped the croissants in and it was unreal. So we're just gonna go and have a little look around now. We're gonna go back in here for a bit and we're gonna go to Dior. We just came here because we actually missed this yesterday. We literally walked right past it and we obviously wanted to see these. I know it's like quite a famous place to take pictures. So we just took a little snap and we're gonna go shopping now. Our hands are freezing so cold uh, i've got these little cute valentine's day nails for this trip how pretty so much more relaxing than london stores they have jewelry in here as well okay i've never seen these in london but i love these so, and I also love these. They've got like the little blue on in them, and them as well. And I just love them all, to be honest. We can't get any though, maybe one. We are going to Dior. Look at that, wow, five floors of Dior. this one so it's either this or the black 
so I'll just give you a, what this looks like. I love it, but it's just material, so I'm a bit concerned about it. But if I get this, like, they can personalise it in the back, which I love. And I don't think they do the personalising. I, I have never seen that anyway. So, so pretty. So just this or the black. I think Neilan wants me to get this, but I just think this is a bit more everyday classic. We just left the orb because we're late for lunch. So we're going to have a little think on it. I don't know whether to get the cream, the black or the pattern. And everyone's telling me different. Neilan <laughs> thinks the black or the pattern or, or the cream you like, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I like the cream. Neilan likes the cream. Claudia likes the pattern. And I'm still set on black. So I just think it's going to go with everything. And I've always added in my head I'm getting a black one, so I don't know. So we're having a little think about over lunch. Um, the camera's not focusing for some reason. Uh, we're late for lunch now, we're just trying to get a taxi there. So we are at Le Avenue, we have some tomato pasta, fries, some drinks. We wanted to wait to sit outside, but um, it was fully worked outside, so here we are. We are just about to head back to Dior. We've already been in there for like 45 minutes earlier chatting to the girl, getting out all the bags and trying them all on but um, we're just going to go back now and actually get one I've decided over lunch and I'm going to go for the black one I think uh, we went to lunch in La Avenue La Avenue uh, I think it's really good if you get it outside but it was like a super long wait even though we booked to go there it was a super long wait to sit outside you just have to like wait by the bar to sit outside so we were like oh we're not going to wait and we just sat inside so it was like uh, I think it was average like I know it's quite famous, a lot of people go there, but I think it's only a really good experience if you actually get to sit outside because the inside was just average, I think. Yeah. I think it was, it was average. It was the first average meal we've had since we've got here, isn't it? Mm. Like everything else has been like phenomenal. Unreal. So it was the and first the average one. Unreal. Yeah. Not there. And the service wasn't that as good there as everywhere else. So that's kind of on my only recommend list if you go there and get to sit outside. So we're off back to Dionam. We are back and we're going the black. Like I've done it a million times and I think it's gotta be this. We got it! We are just going for dinner. Um, we haven't booked anything so we're really winging it tonight and it's a Saturday night so we probably haven't got much I don't even know choice like it's kind of like London I don't think we're actually gonna get anyway but I've got a roll neck on tonight because I've been feeling the cold all day today I'm gone I've gone warm tonight uh H&M blazer I'll try and find a full length mirror because this full length mirror is not the one <laughs> the light is so bad in you so I'm gonna try and find a full length mirror and show you my outfit in a bit uh, I've got a duo belt on and my boots and I have a combi trousers so I'll show you guys there and fingers crossed we can get somewhere for dinner we managed to get in. I'm so so happy and excited for it. And uh, we wanted to try this place. Uh, so yeah, we're very happy. <laughs> so cute. It's very pretty. I think we're gonna get the vegetables and the baby lamb with French fries, sauteed spinach. So we got the lamb, the bread there that I'm still eating because it's absolutely delicious. We've got a mojito, sauteed spinach. Uh, this is like a vegetable dish. So we're just going to share it all. We're just waiting for the fries. It looks so, so good and it smells really good. I don't normally eat meat, but there's not that much on the menu veggie. So we're just going to mix it all up. I mean, it's really hard to show you guys my outfit because all the toilets are super dark. But this is what I'm wearing. And it's super difficult <laughs> to show you because all the toilets are really dark. But yeah, this is what we're in. So we just left Giraffe, I think that's how you say it. And it was unbelievable, it was so lovely. All the staff were lush, definitely recommend it. Everyone was just so nice. We sat by the bar because we didn't book anything like before we went out. And we literally just drove you and risked it. And when we got here, they were like, yeah, sure, you can sit by the bar. And we were like, this is our luck. Bar is so good. So yeah, we just sat by the bar and we had lovely dinner. It was so so nice. So um, I'll pop all the re uh, re restaurants we've been to at the bottom probably. Um, so you guys can just take them from there. It's easier. But I definitely recommend that one. Like 100%. It was so nice. So we're just about to leave now and go to the Eiffel Tower because it's bright outside and catch the all sparkly. Because it's our last night, so we want to see a sparkly before we go. I mean, 
and this peace sign that comes out every time we're in a pool to go to. The Eiffel Tower! Oh, it's a, it's a video. <laughs> of course it's a video, it's a vlog! <laughs> There she is! We are on the way home. So tired. <laughs> very sad. It's very early when we got this morning, but we're just knocked at that. I've been swept in. And I think I might end the vlog here, depending on how long it is. This might be the end. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope I can do another one too for you guys. I'm gonna go home to sleep because I'm out about you know, how much sleep as we've been here. Thanks for watching. Hi loves, I am home from Paris. I've basically been home two, three days now and I just kind of wanted to show you. I felt like I didn't really want to end the vlog the way I ended it because it was just kind of like abrupt, like by the way we're back and I didn't get to show you in Paris what I bought. I know that you guys would want to see it. Like I feel like it's kind of frustrating if you watch the whole thing and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to buy something from Dior and then I don't actually show you what I bought. But um, at the same time, I don't want to be like, oh, I buy these things all the time because I really don't. Like this was a really like special occasion for me and I was thinking about buying this bag for so, so long. So it wasn't like a thrill purchase. I didn't just go into Dior and just buy the bag. Like I actually thought about it for so long before I did it. I, I mean this bag's been on my sort of like wish list for maybe two or three years or maybe even longer like probably three four and obviously I only have one um, other designer bag which is my Prada bag so it was a big purchase and it wasn't taken lightly but I really really am glad I did buy it in Paris because I don't know if I told you guys this but I basically went into one of the stores in London it wasn't a Dior store it was just a store that like sold Dior and I wanted to buy the bag in London and I went there and I sort of was asking the sales assistant and sort of and she was just didn't really help me out she sort of just gave me the bag and then walked off and although obviously I love the bag and I, I don't need the experience I just kind of did want to like more of an experience with it and so I was with Claudia at the time and I was like I don't know I just feel like she's given me the bag and just walked off and I kind of wanted like the Dior experience if that makes sense I didn't just she was just kind of it was like as if she didn't think I was gonna buy it so she she just sort of handed it to me and was like here we are she didn't say like do you want to buy it or do you want to see in any other colors I don't know it was just a bit weird of experience so I thought you know what let's go to Paris and let's try the experience there and see how they were and it was amazing the sales assistant was so lovely like I couldn't she was just really really nice she was trying giving me all the colors to try and she was showing me what it was like with her outfit on she was like do you want a glass of champagne do you want a drink here's a seat and we just had a really lovely time they didn't it wasn't like pressure to buy anything but she was so lovely my friend Neilan bought a ring and they was just let her trying them all on they were sort of so so nice and it was so worth it to have like that experience so now obviously when I think about the bag it's like Oh, and I had such a lovely time buying it in Paris with Neela and we had such a lovely so it's more like a memory as well which is what I wanted because actually I've got two bags obviously Claudio bought me one and it was like my first ever designer bag and I remember opening it and like nearly crying and being like oh this is so lovely they bought this for me and all the bags that I have, have such like nice stories and experiences behind them and when I was she sort of just handed me the bag in London I was a bit like oh this is gonna be the story and this is gonna be my feelings when I look at the bag but not anymore because I went to Paris to buy it and now we've got a much better experience um actually in the Dior store so this is the box they gave me um it was all wrapped up with you know ribbon but I opened it already I did a little bit of an unboxing on Insta I'll pop that to the side now um so I'll just show you guys now basically I did go for the black saddle I kind of thought knew that you guys would sort of probably think that I went for that and it was that one I actually went for although I loved the blue I just think that the black is will go with everything and I kind of needed like an evening bag as well and I just know that that will go with everything and the black is the one that I want was the one that I wanted for so long uh years and years I wanted the black one so I felt like even though the blue is stunning and obviously if I could I would have one in every color but you know we are not for a minute um I kind of can only buy one and even though all my designer bags are black 
I just couldn't not have bought the black one. So there she is. Honestly, sometimes I, I haven't even worn it outside yet. I just look her in the mirror and I was like to Claudio, I just love it. And he was like, oh, but don't buy the black because everyone's got the black. And I was like, you know what? I actually don't care because this is the one I've worn and it's the one I've wanted for so long. So I don't care if everyone's gory. I don't care if it's, you know, if everyone, I just don't care. I just loved it so much. I just really don't care. And this is the one I wanted. So regardless if everyone else is gory or not, I still love it. I'm still really happy I went for this one. I went for this kind of leather instead of the soft. So I got the grained leather because I'm a bit of a messy person. And I'm not saying I don't look after things. I do look after things, but I'm not... I don't, I don't want something that I'm scared to put it down or I'm scared to scratch it with the keys or I want something that can be roughed about a bit because I'm not the most like dainty, like super careful person. So I really needed the grained leather because I can't have smooth leather because I am a bit of a mess. And yeah, although I do look after things, um, I'm not the most careful. So this is the one. This is what we went for. I absolutely adore it. So yes, your girl got a Dior saddlebag after four years. Like, honestly. <sighs> so that's enough about the Dior bag. Uh, just a quick roundup of Paris. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I tried to vlog as much as I could with, whilst also sort of being in the moment and like enjoying the time there. I didn't want to be too much on the camera on my phone because it wasn't a fully work trip. It was also like a holiday as well because I haven't been away for so long. And it was my first time going to Paris and honestly I romanticised it and people said to me don't romanticise it because when you get there you'll be disappointed and I wasn't disappointed. I absolutely loved every minute of it. I really like when I came back everyone was like how was Paris? I was like it was exactly what I wanted it to be. Exactly what I thought it was going to be. It was really really amazing and I loved it. I was like oh I can't wait to go back. Everything was just so pretty. The people were so nice and honestly I just had the best experience. Like me and Neilam laughed so much and we just had so much fun and I would definitely recommend like all of the places we went to. Um, I will literally write a list at the bottom of this vlog and I put a story on Insta of the places I would recommend. So I'll do the same in the description box below. Uh, if you are going to Paris or you're planning a trip to Paris I'll pop everything in the description box like everything that we did because obviously I know it's hard to watch the vlog and sort of write places down so I'm gonna pop the restaurants I went to and everything below and just like what I would recommend to do and yeah I hope you guys enjoy I love doing travel vlogs for you and I hope I can do more this year obviously now with hopefully things going back to normal I'll be able to do more for you guys so thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys next week